welcome Tommy Shepard. Congratulations. Miss Rachel, thank you so much. It is great to, to have this opportunity. I'm very humbled. I'm very honored. It's great to hear you say that on record about our staff and how it's growing. I think it's tremendous. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you worked for the Wizards for 16 years. You were at Ernie Grunfeld's side when Ted Leonsis decided he wanted to move in a different direction and let Ernie go. I'm very curious what it was like for you through the months of them going through this process, deciding whether to give you the job full time, what you had to say and what you wanted to say to differentiate yourself from saying, hey, this is not just a continuation of the old regime. I have some other new ideas. Oh, sure, certainly. I, I think the opportunity that Ted presented to me in April was to finish the season out and, and, and prepare for the future. And I never worried about trying to get the job. I just tried to do the job the best of my ability with the staff that we had in place. We had some fantastic people that I knew we were untapped resources. There was opportunities to grow in our scouting area, our analytic area, to prepare for the draft, our medical staff coming on board and being a big part of the decision making process was huge and then just really just getting everybody on the same page and moving forward like a very precise team of teams letting everybody do their job bring the information the intel forward and we all made a collective collaborative decision on how we were going to go about the draft once that was executed then we moved on to free agency and everything's been seamless you know it really felt like this is something we've been preparing for our whole lives uh, people that have been in the NBA you kind of understand that the way that the seasons go and they, they, go, they go quickly. You know, this summer's already halfway over. <laughs> we're trying to figure out where we're doing training camp. And it's like, wow, we just finished summer league. But that's the NBA calendar. It's now 365, you know, and we're used to that. Uh, we're about to talk a little bit about some of the changes departmentally. But before we even get to that, with you personally, Tommy, what do you want to do differently than your predecessor? I think the biggest thing we're trying to do here with monumental sports and monumental basketball is make this very much player player first in the 360 effort to give our players the very best medical care, the very best on-court uh, development opportunities, the very best team skills uh, from the team services side and be able to service all of our players' needs uh, with their families, with the moves, everything that comes into integrating a new player into a new city to a new franchise and then certainly life after basketball and we touch on all those things and then to be in a world-class facility and to play in a world-class arena those are the things that I think Mr. Leon just shared we, we had a passionate vision about that, that that these are things that we can do here to differentiate ourselves and he, he was fantastic the support of uh, the entire group all the partnership that Monumental Sports uh, is that, that everybody was in agreement we can do this these are untapped uncapped areas of our business and I think that's where we can really make the quickest gains and that's going to be the most exciting piece to see all these people come together, have all the access to these, the diverse experiences of these people. I think it's going to be fantastic for us. Yeah, along those lines, right? So the Wizards announced not just your hire, they announced a completely restructured front office system. Is there a part of the new structure you think is going to make the biggest difference to the team? I think all of them together. I know that's an easy, cheesy answer, but I'm <laughs> telling you right now, when we can step forward in our medical area with the expert that we have uh, there, and then certainly with... The, the facility piece and the operations piece with the team services, every one of those people that are involved are bringing something unique and something world class to us. And I think each area is going to have the biggest impact, honestly. But I think when you really, when you maximize from a player's perspective when they walk in and they see a world class facility, I think that, that's going to be the quickest thing to spot is when you have the top rated, you walk in and everything's brand new, everything's fresh. Uh, I think the players notice that quickly. I think the team services deals will be absolutely over time. We'll have the, the model program, not just in the NBA and professional sports, but I believe in. You know this market. This is one of the very best places in the world to, to raise a family, to, to grow up, to be a professional athlete, certainly. And we, gotta, we have to capitalize on that. And I think those are the areas that Ted was very passionate that we, we could get better in, and we are. Um, I, I can't say enough about the, the, the approach that he's taken. I think is we couldn't have scripted it better, couldn't have chosen better people to be involved. And then, you know, with the new people coming in, we also have people that were on board before, and they're tremendous resources from Brett Greenberg and Frank Ross and their abilities uh, to do what they do to help us get better players, to get better contracts. All the things that we've done as a team so far, it's only going to grow. We're bringing more people on board to help us in this pursuit. I just say it's an exciting time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.